Hey piggy people, so I've been working in the pig room. Everything's a mess right now, but I've been changing the cages around. So first thing you'll notice is a whole section right here has been taken away. And then I have moved Busby and Autumn over here. I do need to remove those name tags to swap them out. So they have a three by five section here. And then the quad has been moved over in this area that's a L shape, a three by eight. So again, I have to move those name tags. And that whole section back behind, I'm probably just going to use for storage. I might put up there big, large boxes of hay up there, maybe cage liners, that kind of thing. So I decided to change things up because truth be told, I was still finding the pigs extremely overwhelming. Uh, velvet's still going strong with her abscesses and dental issues. We are going to the vet soon to have a check just to see how her teeth are looking. I still have to file her top teeth every night and clean up her neck a little bit to varying degrees, but she's still eating on her own and I hand feed her extra and she is doing well. So hopefully the vet thinks that her teeth look nice. But regardless, it's still been stressful because she still gets meds every morning and every night. And I felt like I should have a little more relief since I was down four pigs. But I still felt like everything was quite overwhelming when I'd have to do full cage cleans. I almost was putting it off and off. Like I'd be like, okay, I have to clean her cage tonight. Oh, I'll do it a, in an hour. And then the hour would pass. Oh, I'll do it in another hour. Like I just felt like I couldn't make myself do the task. Of course I did, because I have to look after my piggies, but it felt like a major chore. And then same with spot cleaning in the morning and at night, I was finding that it just seemed like it was taking forever to do. And then once I started really assessing the cages, I was like, okay, there's very large sections in the quads cage that they're not even really using, and I'm just washing those liners even though they don't look very dirty. And then uh, with Busby and Autumn, there was a small section for their cage as well that they weren't really using. So I was like, okay, I just need to decrease these cages. Their cages are still huge for the number of pigs I have. I think it was just almost too large for the quad. It was kind of a bit on the extreme side, especially since two of the piggies in the quad are seniors. So they're not as crazy active as they were before. So I just was like, okay, I think I need to decrease these cages so that I can just start to feel like I'm enjoying the pigs more. So this was the first cage clean since I have rearranged things. And it felt so nice to be done pretty darn quick compared to before where I felt like it was taking me forever. And it was much nicer to be able to pick up the pigs when I needed to clip their nails because there's not so much room for them to be you know, trying to run away from you and hide. Um, Busby and Autumn over here have seemed really happy. And Busby's been out a bit more, I think, because his cage isn't as wide open. So before they had a 3x8, now it's a 3x5. So it's much easier to keep, you know, some wood logs and those little stools there so that there's not huge wide open gaps. So now he seems actually a lot happier. He was happy before, but I see him out a lot more and he's even less skittish. So that was a bonus. And yeah, then over here, I find it's a lot nicer for everybody to be closer to their hay, especially for Velvet. So no matter where she is in the cage, she's not as extremely far away from food because I like to monitor her. So overall, I'm finding it nicer and the pigs don't seem to have any complaints. So I'm just hoping that I can finally start feeling like I've got a handle on the pigs. Because last year was so rough with losing four of them. I don't think I've ever really totally processed the loss of everybody. Or really handled it. Kind of just shoved it off to the side. But now thankfully I'm starting to feel better. Starting to feel like it's not so overwhelming like that I can actually complete the tasks to look after the piggies and that even though I have to do stuff with velvet every night I've got plenty of time so is I guess 
I guess all I'm really trying to say is like sometimes you might think you want tons of pigs and it might be fun for a while but eventually I find that it does kind of wear you down and it is actually much more enjoyable to have a much more manageable number. Things can get out of hand very quickly when you have lots of pigs. So I am at six guinea pigs uh, down from ten and I mean I still have one with a permanent health issue which we're going to be you know hopefully helping her for as long as I can. I hope she'll be around for quite a bit longer. She seems to be handling everything well. And then I also have two seniors so Hucky he'll be six this year and Raisin will be six as well. Both of them seem awesome, fingers crossed, knock on wood. Then there'll be piggies that can live to like seven or eight. That would be awesome. Yeah, so I will give you a good tour of the room. I have a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of dusting, and there's so many grids and stuff all over the floor. So once I do a really good clean of this room and the sun's shining in, we will do a whole room tour. So thanks guys for watching and anybody who's stuck around for the few random videos that I've made. I appreciate it. And I see a lot of people still on Instagram. Thanks guys for always understanding and I just wanted to share, you know, how things are going around here. Bye-bye.